Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'll be talking about my favorite books of 2015. It's almost 2016, which I can't believe. 2016 sounds like very serious because we are almost, you know, going to the 20s again. 2020, like crazy. Today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite books that I've read this year. I believe there are like seven on this list, so not like a lot, but I've read 35 books this year when I'm finished with 2015 because I still need to read three more books to reach that goal But I'm gonna I'm gonna make it guys. I'm gonna make it So I'm gonna first start off with one that is very obvious for me So this is my first time reading the Harry Potter series and this year I've read the Goblet of Fire and the Order of the Phoenix Which are both quite big quite big books, especially the Order of the Phoenix, which is like 800 pages or something in English. In Dutch it was almost 700 pages. Still extremely big. But of course those two are like five stars. I believe, I think that Goblet of Fire is like my number one until so far. I just love the things that they need to do and like the book and going underwater and going through the labyrinth and it's just awesome. Oh my god there's a fly. He's still not dead. Okay, we'll, we'll just continue. Uh, <laughs> then another one of my favorites, and this is again fantasy, because of course I've read more fantasy than just Harry Potter. This is Crown of Midnight by Sarah G. Mass, and this is the second installment in the Throne of Glass series. Throne of Glass, I was like, what is the name of this series? This is, until so far, my favorite. It's so good. I've actually just read the two, bo two first books, but... <sighs> Throne of Glass was awesome, gave it like a four and a half out of five stars. This one, a full five out of five stars. The world really starts to build and it's like, oh, Selena's so badass and Kale and oh, I'm definitely team Kale. A lot of people are team Dorian and a lot of people aren't team Kale, but like Dorian, I like him, but it's not like he doesn't have anything special to me. And Kale was there from like the very first moment in Throne of Glass and he always wants to protect her. And I feel like Dorian is just like this prince who wants to just look fabulous. And Kale is really like a, a good badass guy who will do everything to protect her. I started Era of Fire, but I just don't really, I've read it until like page 70 and I think I forgot a lot of things because I don't understand a thing of Era of Fire until so far but I just really want to continue th with this series because this one was so badass and the other ones just have to be two. So. And I'm gonna continue with Dystopian and my favorite dystopian of this year is Legend by Marie Lu. This is the first book in the trilogy and this is actually the one that I like the most. Like Prodigy and Champion, the second and third book in the trilogy are like nice, but this one was awesome. It was badass. I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. It was so good. It's also not very big. It's like just over 300 pages or something. I love the fact that you sh that you switch between uh, Day and June's point of view. It's action packed. This one is like from the beginning. It's like BOM! You're in it. It's just so great. So then one of my favorite genres is contemporary and I've read a lot of great contemporaries this year starting off with Isla and the Happily Ever After, the conclusion to the uh, and on the French Kiss companion novel series. Oh my lord, this one was so good. I loved Isla. She was just like a really regular girl. Sometimes she was like a bit, a little bit too angsty, but she was so sweet. And Josh is like, I think that Josh might be my favorite out of all three. Uh, like Etienne was like so great. Uh, and then Cricket was also so sweet, but uh, I don't know, like Josh is like this artist and he's so, Good and mm, I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars and like the end of this book, if you've read this book you will understand me, like the big scene, oh, it was it was so awesome and it was a great conclusion but I wish that Stephanie Perkins could write more in the series because I mean this is so cool and like all these people like Isla and Lola and Anna are all like sort of connected to each other's stories and I just, I just love it so much. I can't I can't tell you how much I love this. And it was also so much fun to go back to Paris again because Isla is at the same high school as Anna is. And I love the cover, it's beautiful. And another contemporary favorite of mine from this year is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. And let me tell you guys, this one was just like mind blowing. This was also my first Colleen Hoover book that I've ever read and I haven't really read another one after it, but I really want to in 2016. In the beginning, like the first 50 pages, you already have like some sort of twist. It's not really a twist, but it's something that you're like, whoa, really? And that part was so great. It was very creative. I loved our main character, Sydney. I read this like 
probably in like uh, four days or something and oh, Ridge is like my bae. The story was beautiful. Like I, I probably sort of like teared up a few times. It was so great. So I cannot wait to read Maybe Not, which is like a um, some sort of like spin-off book because you follow the uh, side character in the in Maybe Someday. But I really, really want to read more Colleen Hoover. I gave this one obviously a five out of five stars. This might even be like my favorite contemporary of all time, like right now, until what I've read. And then my last favorite books of 2015 are To All The Boys I Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This duology, man, oh my god. I read this one in January and uh, P.S. I Still Love You came out in May and this is the first book that I pre-ordered in my life and I read it in three days and it was good. I loved this one. Give To All The Boys I Loved Before five out of five stars. I gave this one four and a half out of five stars. They're just so good. I've read three other Jenny Honda books this year, like the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy. I like that one, but not as much as this one. They're so cute. They're just, if you're in a reading slump, definitely read this duology. I believe that a lot of people have already read this duology, but it's like so good. And I actually wish that there will be a third one because this ending was kind of like not really satisfying and something happened like 50 pages before the end and then it was just like, okay. So this contemporary duology is definitely like in my top five contemporary as well. I've just enjoyed them so much. You also have like a lot of sister relationships and it's just so cute. And the lighting is really getting dark right now while it's still super outside. So I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what's, what the lighting is doing. It's just really dark in my room. Outside, it's like still extremely light. So I don't know what's going on. Those were my favorites of 2015. I hope that in 2016, I will have even more favorites to put on my favorites list. I hope you guys, you had a great 2015 reading wise. And of course, with the rest of your life, I hope you had a great 2015. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more of my videos. And I will see you guys in 2016. <laughs> Bye.